All right, so you've managed to get some decent handstand holds, 20, maybe even 30 seconds, but it still sucks to be you at the calisthenics park because before you can show off your hold, you gotta kick up like 10 times before you can actually hold one. And that's a really common problem that I only got to fix myself about two weeks ago. In this video, I would like to give you two quick little tips that help me get over this issue. So first of all, the reason why you probably suck at kickups is because you haven't really practiced them. And when you did your handstands, you just kicked up and when you got a good one, then you just holded it for as long as possible. Anyway, in order to get good at kickups, you gotta practice the kickups themselves too. So uh, one way to do that is actually to include them in your warm-ups. At least that's something that I did, um, where I just said, before I start my workouts, I wanna get 10 kickups. So you kick up when you, when you feel like you're balanced, you drop back down on purpose, you kick up again and just accumulate some reps. Handstands are a balanced skill meaning that uh, there are lots of neural connections that help in developing the movement. So by practicing your kickups, you learn just how hard you need to kick up. Yeah, that was the main issue that I didn't kick up hard enough, causing me to uh, always fall back. So yeah, practice kickups, do them for reps and maybe accumulate them over time, practice the neural co um, connections by just doing the handstand kickups um, instead of just holding the handstand as long as you can. So that's the first thing. Then the second tip that I would like to give you um, concerns like the kickup itself. So first of all, I really like to um, build like a, a really strong fundament at the beginning of the movement by placing my hands, really firming my hands into the ground, straightening my, um, my arms, activating my shoulders, because that way it just makes me feel like I have a really strong base. Um, just allowing myself to control it all from the fingers and the rest is just, just steady. And I like to do the same thing with my legs as I kick up as well, where I like to keep my legs fairly straight. Um, also here because there is less um, degrees of movement. I always think uh, hips over shoulders. So when I kick up, I try to get my, my hips as quick as possible over my shoulders because when my hips are over my shoulders, then it's just uh, a way of um, slight adaptations in my finger movements or um, my legs to actually get the handstand hold. And I kick up with one leg first and the other one just lingers a bit behind. I find it easier to, to balance that way. Just to prove to you that I'm not talking shit here. Now I hope I don't fail, I'm just going to do a kick up. So I firm everything in the ground, make sure I have a solid base, and then I kick up. And then I kick up. And from there, when I'm standing, get back down, kick up, hips over shoulders, get back down, and then one more. Just like that. And then after you've practiced your kick ups, you can of course also get in some holds. Anyway, I hope this can help you. It helped me a lot. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, if you have some ideas, uh, things that help you, so we can just help each other out. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. 
and see you in the next one.